So a little while ago I did this video on designing a pockets only EDC system and you guys seem to really like it so I thought I'd do a follow up on that because at the time I was just using my ordinary trousers, uh, if you don't call them trousers you'll have to just bear with me. So I was never really happy with how just normal trousers, the pocket arrangement on those jeans or, or chinos would actually work with all the things I wanted to carry in my pocket. I thought there would be something out there that would work better with it. So obviously you're looking at sort of cargo pockets and things but they've got gussets and they're very bulky and they sort of stand right out. Uh, so I didn't really want to go down that road. Uh, I was sort of always after something that was a little bit more discreet but still having lots of pockets and I stumbled across these cool trousers I'm not quite sure if that's how you pronounce it I assume you do uh, the renegades and the really neat thing about these is they actually come in short versions and full-length versions so I can actually just wear these all year round if it's hot I'll wear the shorts and in the winter I'll wear the long versions um, with exactly the same pocket design through both so all the thought I put into what goes in which pocket I don't have to worry about that according to which time of the year it is so that's really really fantastic. So let's take a look at the pocket design on these things because it's really not to be underestimated. So on the back we've got velcro closure pockets which are fantastic for slipping a phone in because you can, you can still open it with one hand you just sort of push it open with one hand phone drops into the pocket and then you know the velcro closes over the top uh, and it's just big enough the gap you know just under the velcro seal is just big enough for an iPhone SE or an iPhone mini uh, which is interesting because you know it's a little bit too tight for the normal iPhone and certainly too tight for the for the max size iPhones. So around the front we've got your normal sort of hand pockets uh, but what I like about these is how the, the opening the pocket lines up with the belt loops so that means I can just click my Bellroy uh, key thingy onto the belt loop and this bit just drops straight into the pocket so not all trousers are like that you know sometimes if you click something onto the belt loop it doesn't just drop into the pocket it has to sort of go around the front or something before it finds the opening to the pocket so I love that about these so these pockets are mesh lined, which keeps the bulk down as well. So below these, we've got the concealed cargo pockets. And, you know, compared to the sort of normal cargo pockets with gussets and, and great big flaps over the top, these are unbelievably discreet. So they're, they're side access and they've got a zip down the side as well. So it's sort of the same on both sides. Again, mesh lined, so there's no additional bulk from that. And they're really in, almost invisible from the front. You can't see any clue there's a pocket there. There's just this, this side access, which kind of just goes in line with a hem. Um, you know, fantastic to have that kind of low down cargo capacity without the big bulging gussets. So next we've got the pockets that really propel these into the indispensable items that I think they are. So these are tucked away around the back quarter of the thigh, so they're sort of behind the, the front main cargo pockets. So they're not too far back that they cause problems when you sit down, but they're not too far forward that they sort of collide with the normal cargo pockets. There's actually a surprisingly good and, and effective place for a pocket. So this is where we've got a bit of an asymmetrical design coming in. So on the right, we've got a diagonal opening and on the left, we've got a straight across opening. So the diagonal opening obviously makes it a little bit easier to get something sort of more bulky in and out. And that's where I keep this um, um, amazing addition to the kit, which is uh, an Arc'teryx shake dry raincoat. And that actually just lives in that pocket all the time. And I only take it out to put it on. Uh, it, that is worthy of another video because to have a raincoat in your pocket the whole time it just changes the game your whole outlook on life is changed uh, so I'm really pleased with that but yeah this pocket just accommodates that perfectly so the one on the left with a slightly more restrictive opening straight across one uh, is perfect for slipping my sunglasses in and there's definitely no worry about them flying out and it's great to have them always on me all the time I've got, obviously got prescription sunglasses so I don't want multiple pairs you know in the car or wherever I just want my my ready to go prescription glasses and this lets that happen I actually ruled out any kind of transitions uh, or reactor light glasses because I didn't want the the delay when you go into a, in you know to a dark area I don't want to be waiting for my glasses to, to go clear again and no matter how fast they say they are I think there's always that delay so with this I can just switch over and of course having a dedicated pair of sunglasses means you can go for the bigger lens size which is better obviously if you're, you're outside you, you can keep some of the glare out so the button and fly are actually quite interesting as well because uh, it's a push button type but I've never seen one like this there's actually a hole with a with a popper in the middle so very very easy to, to open and close that way when you just sort of click it on and off. But incredible resistance to a shear force when you're pulling. So good attention to detail with that kind of fixture on there. So I've actually got quite chunky thighs and I normally find trousers quite restrictive around the back end. And so with these, they've actually got gussets and they're cut just right. They're, there's no restriction. So it's great to have trousers that don't actually feel too tight and limit your freedom. Because, you know, kind of it's quite fun with the kids climbing trees and stuff. I don't want my trousers getting in the way of that. So the fabric is a great choice as well. It's very thin, but quite strong, ultra fast drying synthetic material. So in the winter, I actually just wear these with merino long johns underneath. So perfect temperature control there in that respect. And of course, with my sort of ultra small rain 
coat that never covers the trousers so if the trousers get wet I want them to dry quickly so the whole thing works quite well. But obviously when you're carrying a lot of kit in your trousers you need a good belt and it needs to be one with no give no stretch at all so that you can really just get that at the right size and all the weight is transferred onto your hips and you really don't know you're carrying that much weight then and it's pretty crazy you know the, the stuff I've got in here it does obviously accumulate and weigh quite a lot um, but uh, you don't feel it when you're actually wearing them and so the main thing about that is making sure the stuff in the pockets doesn't flap about for it's all right the weight going down is fine but what you don't want to do is have it flapping forwards and backwards when you're running so it's more about stabilizing the load and spreading it out so I'm going to look at the full kit in another video and I'll go into more detail on that sort of idea of keeping things in the pockets from flapping about so I think choosing a pair of trousers with a really good pocket layout is quite a key part of you know, designing and, and using an everyday carry pocket only system uh, and it just took me a surprisingly long time to find these I was kind of looking for a long time people were recommending various kind of work trouser brands uh, sort of heavy duty things and there's some probably good options there but I was just the, when I saw these and the design of the pocket system on here how they're kind of they do look a bit kind of you know outdoorsy um, but they're, they're sort of fairly discreet considering how many pockets they've got and uh, I know I'm kind of kidding myself a little bit there, but I, I'm happy to because it's just brilliant having all this stuff so handy and accessible. So if you've got an interesting EDC kit, I'd love to know what trousers you use it with and you know, do you follow this idea of using the same ones all the time to just sort of keep that consistent arrangement for your kit? Uh, let me know in the comments below. So feel free to browse the channel for more interesting videos on design, usability and workflow, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.